So, you remember that we have an electromagnetic field around. I did a lot of experiments with a nuclear power agency in France, okay, so they are not romantic like us, and they are people very, huh? they are scientists, and we try to see if it's real that we have some electromagnetic field around. I can tell you yes, yes, yes. We did some experiments with infrared camera, with infrared detector. Infrared is a part of the electromagnetic field. And if you put your hand, the palm of your hand in front of you, and the most, take your hand here, move your fingers on your dominant hand, there's one part very sensitive. With this part, you move your hand in front of yourself, okay? And you feel where there's a feeling that is a little heavy, that you have some connection. It will show you where the organ has some problem. An organ, where there has some problem, it takes your energy. And when it takes your energy, it will take this energy somewhere else. Liver is very connected with the intellectual energy. For instance, if your liver doesn't work, you will not be creative. Okay? You can do what the others are doing, but creativity will miss. So it's an organ connected with this creative we must, creativity we must have. That is a liver connection also. Okay? And you have many things, you know, I try to be a little simple because I don't like myself when things are a little more difficult. It's why when you have a kid, for instance, you have, a, you have many mothers, huh, or if you are with your friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, you check a little bit and you know at once where there is a problem. But if we take the example of the liver, the liver is a memory of your bad diet, for ladies of hormonal problem, it's very, you know the hormones are eliminated by the liver. Huh? Progesterone, estrogen, okay, uh, testosterone, they are eliminated by the liver. And very often, ladies, when they have a high level of estrogen, too high, the liver is overworked. How can, how can you recognize? Skin a little greasy. Some of the hair a little greasy. You must wash your hair every two days and so on. Okay? Breast a little heavy. Huh? Your breast is a little heavy. We have seen photophobia, sinusitis. Very often sinusitis is connected also with the liver. And you can do everything you want with uh, treating. If your liver doesn't work, your sinus secretion is not the same. Remember one thing, when, suppose that yesterday night you went out, you drank a lot of wine, of whiskey and so on. So the day after, your saliva is sick, very sick. It's the same thing with the sinus secretion. Sinus secretion is more sick and of course are more difficult to be evacuated. And after, there is a risk of sinusitis and so on. That is a connection with the liver. Liver also is a big memory of infection. Okay, when somebody got a problem with hepatitis, for instance, but any kind of infection, the right part, alors, diet is the middle part of the liver, the right part is more the infection memory. And it's very curious. Suppose that you was 16 years old and you got a hepatitis in drinking water. All your life, you will have the track of this hepatitis. I don't say that you will sick all your life, but you have the track. And you feel it, and you can feel it with the hand. Of course, the patient feels it because he has a lot of difficulty to eliminate. Alors, if we want to reverse, you have your liver doesn't work. Okay? If your liver doesn't work, the messages received by the brain are nociceptive messages. And you know the brain has some memory, has any kind of memory of trauma, physical, emotional. So the liver will give some nociceptive information to your weak point and you will feel depressed. And liver is one of the organs concerned by depression. You know, if, if you understand when somebody takes some drugs, antidepressive drugs, each drug is metabolized by the liver and kidney. 
So, your liver will have more pollen, of course, this pollen will come and so on. I don't say that it's always bad, sometimes suppose you want to suicide or something, but in general, if we take some anxiolytic or antidepressive drugs, it will do the opposite, the absolutely the opposite huh, to, to your brain.